Hello everyone, uh, I have more testing for you today. So, since I bought this car, the most annoying thing about it was this central console. Look. And it's so annoying forever. Anyway, um, since I'm gonna have an IB sub, I have a cancellation in my car at about between 60 and 70 hertz. And it's annoying and I know that my IB sub won't be able to play that high and it's gonna have it, it has some problems in the upper bass range so I was thinking I was debating uh, an option to have an upfront sub yeah so the most popular options it's uh, either in the footwell passenger or the glove box however a lot of SPL guys and of course a few SQ guys as well did a upfront sub here in the center console. So that's what I'm going to be testing today. So how I will do my test. What I have here, a test enclosure. So this is a small little box with ScanSpeak 10 inch woofer it's not a sub it's a woofer so i don't know how well it's gonna play i know it needs a big box but this is for testing purposes so this width is 20 centimeters and it's exactly the same as this width so the plan for today is remove the whole thing all of this remove it put the box in there and i'm gonna test a few positions so uh, in the front, if you can see it here, in the front, firing uh, towards me, in the back, towards me, and to the other side as well, yeah? So, yeah, this is going to be fun. But, since I was playing with the transfer functions in my car, uh, if you saw my last video about transfer functions, I'm going to get a transfer function from a few of these positions, and I'm going to see if that cancellation at 68 hertz is still there. Is it still present? Or is it going to disappear? So the woofer that I'm using, it's just for testing purposes. Maybe it's going to fit. I don't know. We'll see. But the main purpose of this is to get a transfer function and to see if the cancellations are still there in the central console. And at the same time, because it's a small box, I'm going to put it in the footwell. And I'm going to measure a response from there as well. And I hope it's going to go well. And about 30 minutes later, I have all of this out. So this is absolutely plastic and hollow. There's nothing inside, just the cup holders. So uh, I'm lucky enough that I have an electronic brake, e-brake. It's not the handle but this one, so it's just a button. So that's why I'm lucky. And we have all the space that I need. So I did some uh, rough measurements. If I'm gonna make a box from here up to the very back till the seat and exactly the same height that it was, it's almost a full cubic foot, yeah. So let's have a look how the box looks like if I put it inside. And there we go, that's my testing closure. So yeah, it's a bit high, but it's fine. It's just for testing. I can, I tried, I can shift it all the way back. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna turn around to the opposite side. And yeah, let the measurements begin. And I'm back with my measurements. So I do have more measurements that there actually is. It just, it just looks like it's a lot. So let's start with the illustration of the problem that I mentioned about uh, the cancellation that I have in that range. Let's enlarge this. So this is my subwoofing sealed enclosure that I had before uh, behind the rear seats. And this is a problem here. So it's not as pronounced here but you can see the frequency goes up, slight dip, and it goes up again. So this is a cancellation here. Now the sub in IB has a much bigger cancellation at 67 hertz, something like that, 66.5, 6, 67. So with IB, as you can see, I have all the low end. It's going down to 15 hertz. 
a bit more on top end but here the, those cancellations that I uh, had in the previous video when I did the testing for the IB so this is the cancellation now uh, mid base right one is in the kick it's not in the door but in the kick so this is a slight dip here it's not as pronounced but the mid base left one that I did recently testing when covered the holes how deadening affects the frequency response there is a cancellation exactly the same as uh, with the IB sub so this this cancel this cancellation I cannot do anything about it I cannot fix it with EQ it is just it is what it is so now uh, let's see if the front sub is able to fix it first of all I tested the test enclosure that I did from near field and one meter distance is just to see if there's any big massive issues or anything and it looks fine so it's a it's kind of a mid base woofer that's supposed to play my guess it's like from 80 70 up to I don't know 1k or something like that so as you can see it, it falls down below 80 below 90 it falls down but it's fine because the cabin again picks everything up so now I'm gonna un untick all of the measurements that I did so I did six measurements in total so uh, facing the driver and opposite of the driver and in the front in the middle and in the very back towards the seat and I'm gonna focus only on this area I don't care about what's happening here I'm gonna focus on this area uh, right around 60 so we're gonna zoom in on that and I'm gonna zoom in so uh, if I'm gonna be using this driver to cover that cancellation at 67 Hertz 65 let's say here I need the extension down to 30 and up to 120 so that's what I'm gonna do 30 120 apply we're gonna enlarge this a bit so 5 dB scale and these are the results so I'm gonna remove the worst ones from the bottom so let's see the green one so facing towards the driver in the rear is bad because it's the lowest one uh, in the front facing the driver and in the middle facing the driver so basically all the measurements that I did that when the driver is facing me they are the worst and the, be the better ones are when the driver is facing the opposite of me so towards the passenger so all of these three uh, in the front in the middle and in the rear they're almost the same because this area is, is, is basically the same so it's like 2 dB difference it's not it's not a big deal so I'm just gonna take the rear one for fun because it has the the highest response here I'm gonna have this one as for reference now I did the measurements in the footwell oh just for fun I did exactly in the same location uh, as before just firing up and uh, so this is down firing sorry and this is up firing so when you fire it up it's not as great if you're firing down it's kind of the best but the thing is if I'm going to be using this driver which is, is is too big to fit it in between the seats so I literally cannot put it there so this uh, is out of the equation and I have this and I did in the footwell so footwell firing up towards me and footwell firing down towards the floor which gives me I don't know why better result and it kind of makes sense because if you compare this so this is in the center console and the top one is in the footwell it makes sense basically because you have more cabin gain the further the driver is away from you the distance wise so it kind of makes sense but the response as you can see it's the same it's just the level that is different so 5 dB level now if I were aiming for loudness probably uh, the footwell would be a better option however I want to save as much space as possible and like in the center console the 
cup holders I never use them and it's just squeaky and squiggly as you heard it before so for me I'm gonna keep it in the center console now what I did is uh, as in the previous video about the transfer function so I had a model in here so I have this driver scan speak I did a model I exported it and I have a uh, exported model uh, in 14 liter so as it is and in twice as big so it's the biggest that I could fit 28 liter something like that 28 liter uh, box in that center console so I have these from the 14 liter that I have now I measured uh, measured calculated the transfer function which I explained in the previous video so where is it this is the transfer function as you can see there's no dip that means like that the car is boosting everything very um i don't want to say flat but linearly so it's going so this is like plus minus one or two db this can be eq'd and basically you have a very gradual rise so the tra transfer function of the car in that particular place in the central console works perfect as I need there's no dips there's no nothing it's exactly as it is so this is this is the response that I measured with the 14 liter box if I would increase that box to 28 liter that would be the response that I would get so I'm going to remove uh, this one so this would be the response in a bigger sealed enclosure with the same scan speak driver which is spot on exactly what i need if i would apply uh, high pass and low pass filters around it it would make me very very happy so i will try to um, play with this with other drivers uh, but i think this would fit it will fit the bill so just to summarize let me very quickly uh, click this one and this one. Let's zoom in a bit. So this is basically the difference between the footwell, which is the top one, and the center console, which is the bottom one. So in the footwell, you have more level, but the response is almost identical almost the same but i think in the footwell it drops off a bit faster so this is the main comparison between the footwell and the central console but i think i'm gonna go for this exactly driver in a bigger box in the central console so that's the plan for my upfront sub yeah so uh, I hope this was useful for somebody. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.